Get ready for the sweetest half hour of television this week. We have so many kids who are good to know. Yay! From heroes. I'm happy that I saved them. To artists. I probably do two or three a day after school. Discover how these inspiring young people are overcoming obstacles. He's just wowing everybody with his little personality. And spreading acts of kindness. Dear all doctors and nurses, I know you make people happy and feel great. Hi, I'm your host, Elizabeth Ruiz. Welcome. This is Good to Know. It's one of my, my passions, and so for me to be able to take something that I love to do every day and be able to give that to people who are really making a difference in other people's lives, that's everything. met them doesn't mean I can't help them. Anthony changed my life. He's this guy who cares about me. He cares about me. It just touched my heart. I love the fact that you framed it so that adventure is over your head. We're just trying to love our community, help people in this time of need, and just be a support to them. Seeing his face and how much he's grown and how much faster he's gotten in that chair <laughs> makes me smile ear to ear. really special. Our first amazing kid is using her artwork to feed people in Colorado. Like most artists, little Lillian Benedict has always had the gift of empathy. She's just in tune to the world around her. Um, and she soaks it all in. So when she saw the growing number of desperate panhandlers near her grandma's home, well, that just didn't sit right with the six-year-old. There's like lots of people on the streets, like, like holding up signs, and I, and I wanted to help them. And so she went to mom with an idea. And she said, I want to sell my paintings. I want to help the homeless. And my instant thought was, that's amazing. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> Together, they came up with Lillian's Big Heart Art and sent this video. Hello, my name is Lillian Benedict. To Littleton's Graceful Cafe with a proposal. I'm hoping to give them to you. Uh, and you can give them and you can sell them to your customers if they want them. If they would display and sell her watercolor paintings, she would donate all of the proceeds to the cafe's foundation, which helps feed the homeless through its Grace in Action meals. It just touched my heart. Cafe owner Heather Greenwood was blown away. Such a young age, you know, she's six and she just has such a beautiful heart already. Lillian now spends hours painting in her art room. I probably do two or three a day after school. Her paintings have sold to people in Georgia and Iowa. Oh, even from Canada. To date, she's raised a thousand dollars for the Graceful Foundation. It's amazing. It's going to feed about a hundred people, which is, is unbelievable. I was just amazed at the support and the, I think the encouragement that she was receiving. People have been deeply moved by Lillian's art, but even more so by the artist and her watercolor reminders of just what's possible if we could all see the world through the empathetic eyes of a six-year-old. It was a drive downtown with her parents when she was just seven that would chart a course for Abby Guff. As she gazed out the back window of the family's SUV, she saw one after another, men, women, young people, and the elderly living on the streets of San Diego. I just felt really bad for them. She immediately started saving her allowance and then asked her mother Elizabeth to take her shopping. She had essentials to buy. We just started getting Ziploc baggies and we just started buying stuff and putting them in the bags and we just start hanging them out. Handing out baggies filled with body wipes, hand warmers, rain ponchos. Um, shaving cream, a toothbrush, some tissue. They also get masks and hand sanitizers now that we're in the current pandemic. Mom right beside her as each bag brings a smile, if only for a time. From that moment on, it's been her goal to 
make sure that they know that they're loved. With her family's help and donations from friends and strangers on Facebook, they've delivered 550 bags so far, launched a website, and a soon-to-be official nonprofit project, Love to Love. Every Christmas, I try to hand out a good amount of bags before I open any of my presents. The next delivery is planned for Easter. Project Love to Love's Facebook page is filled with thank yous to all those people willing to donate and help provide the backpacks, blankets, beanies, and gloves getting ready to go out. Yeah. And to the homeless individuals, Abby tells me she would like to say, I hope you get shelter and have a good life. A Michigan family is spreading joy to some very deserving children. For young kids, getting a new toy is like a glimpse into heaven. And this U-Haul truck, packed to the brim with toys, is being sent to a place where a glimpse of heaven is needed most. I think it really allows kids to transcend the hospital walls um, and to be a child, and that's priceless. Amy Pinar would know having spent the last two and a half years in and out of the hospital as her son Jake battled cancer. Her husband, Christophe, knows well too. There are moments when, um, when you realize that you stop becoming a parent and you start learning from your child. Uh, his journey led me to that moment. Watching their son go through months of chemo and radiation was a challenge for the Pinar family, but watching that disease take his life at just nine years old was another. Losing a child um, is heartbreaking. Just two weeks after Jake passed, the Pinar family is here at their Detroit church, having collected more than 2,000 toys, all in Jake's name. It's uh, pretty remarkable. Those toys fill the U-Haul truck that pulled right up to the front of Children's Hospital in Detroit. The hospital staff who cared for Jake was lost for words. Um, It's really special. This special delivery should be no surprise to those who knew Jake. He had a passion for sharing what he had with others. And now in heaven, he's sharing a glimpse of that too. I think we made Jake proud. And I'd like to I'd like to think that he's um that he's proud of, of us carrying this on in his name. have so many more stories to share and kids to celebrate. See how these students are spreading the love during the pandemic. I know you are in the hospital, so I hope you feel better. I hope you get out of there. More amazing stories on the way. It's good to know.